Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is update number one for my Pan Lab palette. So if you want to see how I did in my first month, and then keep watching. So for the purpose of this project, I have 26 eyeshadows. That is just ridiculous considering how slow I am at panning them. But anyway, it's kind of exciting this first update, which is shocking for me. So we'll start with this palette here, the naked one. So I had six eyeshadows to work on. They are the very last six and the last three I had made into a nail, von nail, varnish, a nail varnish and I have not used that yet. So there's no, just get that out of the way. So that accounts for three eyeshadows that were like panned, but they had bits left and I made them into an eyeshadow because they weren't performing anymore because this eyeshadow palette is, is far too old. I know, but it is. So I haven't used that, so those three out of the way. The fourth one was the shade Buck, which you probably can see on the screen how it the palette looked in general, which I'll show you at another point. But I had repressed the shade Buck into this palette here that Poric 3D printed <coughs> because it was it had hard pan and so I wanted to be able to use it, so I repressed it into here. And as you can see on the screen, that is where I was. And here is where I am now. So I used it 13 times, 13 times this month. I used it as a bronzer. I used it as an eyeshadow. I also used it in the tail of my eyebrows. Sometimes I used it on my neck if I was uh, not quite matching that day, which actually proved to be quite handy. I wasn't using it to overuse it. Like I genuinely needed something. I was actually in Westport. I wasn't even at home. And thank God I had it to match myself up a bit. I was wearing a more lower cut top and I'm quite pale down there. So that is technically one of 26 eyeshadows gone. Hell to the yeah. That's one of 26. Now I can show you the palette and it makes more sense now. So we have technically got two shades left in this palette to work on, which is toasted and sidecar. So as you can see, I've had pan in them both. Um, and I've used them both. I'm trying to get used out of everything, but I use sidecar the most. So I, as you can see, here is where I am now. That is update number one. So I used this shade here, which has the most noticeable difference. I placed so much emphasis on this, this one. So this I used seven times. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. I used this seven times to get it to what you see now. Like I've noticed these colors are not performing anymore. They fade away. So in theory, I need to like reapply it during the day. Now, yes, I know you'd be like, why don't you throw it away? But look how much is left. I just want the satisfaction of finishing my first ever whole palette. So yes, these shadows are all old. They should really go in the bin, but here we are, unfortunately. <laughs> So seven uses on this one, and that was my focus for the month. And this one here is in Toasted. It's just, there's not any visible difference on this one, but I used Toasted three times. So last month, God, my eyeshadow is an absolute mess. Last month, this weighed 132 grams, and now it weighs 131 grams, which is surprising to that, that little bit of, what shade is it? that little bit of sidecar caused that much difference. My shellac is all coming off now, like I need to sort my life out. and I'll be able to use that nail varnish. So we're one shadow out of 26 down and we've got panage on this one looking better. So for this palette, there's 20 shades in the Urban Decay Vice 2. This should be called Urban Decay Pan that Palette. <laughs> Two eyeshadow palettes are Urban Decay. So I, act I actually track the number of uses. My makeup today are all Project Pan items, including my eyes, but it's really melty because they're on my eyes now. 12, 12, 13 hours. So forgive me. So I have tracked my uses here, so I will just let you know. So the first month for me is generally figuring out, I like to pan a look or something like that because I bring my makeup to work. So I was just trying to get to know the shades again. Last month, you can see everything on the screen there. I'll put up the photo. Um, I'll probably just go through it shade by shade once I show you the shades I have here. But you know, it had reasonable enough looking, looking reasonable. Enough. It looked reasonably enough used, not that much, but this month I've used it quite a bit. Um, to me, I have, and it was 246 grams last month, and it's now 244 grams this month. So I've gone down two grams, yes, girl. And we have an exciting update, I think. 
for this. Now I hope nothing falls out. No, oh God, don't fall out. Ta-da! Can you see that? We have a big, juicy, Lucy panule. Look at that. I'm gonna hold it still so I can take a screen grab for you guys. Do you think it's better if I hold it up this close? Yeah, there we go. Look at that, yes. So smoke out I used twice. Let me just hold it back because I feel like I'm blocking off the microphone. Smoke out I used twice. It's not that black, it's kind of gray to be quite honest with you. Love sick I did not use at all. I've used most of this palette. Shell shock I've used one time and like look, it is actually has a little bit of usage on it, like I had used it before. This is quite foiled and it does stay on the eye all day, thankfully. So that's what I used once. This one here, Cokes, I used twice. This one is not that, it's a shimmer, but it doesn't, it doesn't pack a punch, even though it does on your hand. This is probably because of how old it is. This one here, this matte pink, uh, it is so light on the eye, it's not that pink as it is there. This one is called X-Rated. I've used this shade five times because it's a matte. There's not many mattes you can work with. It is very light on the eye. I wouldn't get that one again. But that is it there. I used it five times as I said. Right, prank. Here we go. This was the one I had an issue with. So it is a black with a blue micro kind of a shift. I have it on today. And okay, look, excuse how messy and melted this is. I just bear with me for a moment. Thank you to Nadine. Look at the stage of it. <laughs> Thank you to Nadine Smith for that because she suggested in the comments um, to use a black base or a blue base to try bring out the blue. Well, wasn't she right? Like just imagine it in its potential. So I used a black a jumbo pencil underneath and now it looks blue. Like, look at the difference. Just wait, watch this, look. That looks, oh, I look like a liar. On the eye, this looks black, okay? It just came up as black. But then when I did what she said, Nadine said, it looks blue, I better wipe this. So let's thank Nadine, everyone. Uh, Bula Boss for Nadine Smith. Thank you so much. This is what's so helpful about making my life easier. Genuinely, thank you, Nadine. Madness, madness is next. This is this blue shimmery one here. And I use this twice. This one's actually quite nice as it is. No complaints, absolutely beautiful. It looks really similar to that really blue shade that's in the Blue Moon palette. So yes, I've used that one there twice. This gold one that's beside it called Strike, I used it once. Uh, this greeny one here I have not used yet. It's called Stash. This one is called Poison. I haven't used this. I haven't, I haven't used this one. I haven't used this one. Or these two here, this brown and this green. These two here, this purple. This is actually a matte purple. No, it's not. Why is it looking shimmy? Oh, shimmery. This is a matte purple, even though it looks shimmery on my hand. It's in the shade Voodoo, and I used it once. Betrayal, I've also used the one time. And that has a dip in it also for some reason. I used it a lot when I was using this palette consistently. In theory, what I have learned from this is I should have done what I've done this month in December because this palette really is not performing. Um, but I just, I'm not able to part. It's one of those sentimental ones. So I wanted to actually finish some of, a lot of it to get to that point. This one here that you see with pan in it. I used this five times that I've recorded. However, yes, it was close to pan in the intro. I reapplied it during the day just with this finger here at my desk because it would fade off and the only bit that would be left is my eye wrinkle. So I didn't count those because I did that a couple of times. That's how desperate the measures have gotten. So that's what I did. And I was in work for like t over 10 hours. So a few times. The pans are surprisingly deep. So that's a pan here, okay? Yes, girl, pan! I did not use this shade Dope. It is a satin, oh Lord, I put it on a black finger. It's just a satin um, highlight shade. You could use it on your brow bone or as a highlighter. This shade here in Toxic, I only use it the one time. That has quite a dip in it. That I'd say is the next one to have pan. This one here, I said in my intro that I was going to use it as a matte setting shade, like an ivory setting shade, and I was really happy about it. Upon usage, which I used this 10 times, this is actually, is, look how pale this is. That's too dark <laughs> for my eyelid. So I actually use it as a transition shade. 
not a crease shade actually just a transition shade and it does well for that there's a little bit of a dip but it's a matte shade this shade here in ambush i have not used and this one here rewind i've used 11 times so in total out of this palette there is 20 shades and i did not use seven of them i just didn't get to it in my rotation so what i've decided to do elen the beautiful canadian friend on youtube i have here gave me these little anastasia mac quads mac quads anastasia magnetic quads uh, so i can bring things to work so so i'm just going to pop them into the quads the shades that i'm using so i'm going to use that derailed shade the one that has pan in it so this one here as well i just popped it out and i'm just going to pop them in here these are the, going to be the matte shades. so i'm just going to show you one of the quads so i'm going to work on the shade with the pan in it already derailed and i've just popped these ones in here as well my hands are destroyed so these are the three matte shades plus one of the shimmer shades the shimmer shade is in toxic so here is where they are i'll pop them back into the normal palette just for the purposes of the video next month but that's how i'll be bringing it to work just so you could see i'm going to use that and the derailed shade i think and that is my video guys thanks a million for watching oh crap yeah i'll insert some pictures of looks at the end in a little roll tell me if you'd rather see them at the end of a video in a little roll like video reel or if you want me to include them and talk about them as we're going along i just don't think everyone would be interested in it and that's why it's up to you let me know what you think thank you so much for watching we will get through this so we've got 26 shades we're now down to 25 shades one down progress is not perfection perfection is progress <laughs> i don't know